Hi guys and welcome. If you want to build your own landing page and you want to make it fast, easy and without an extra efforts, definitely this video can be handy for you because in this video I want to show you all the main things that you will use to build up your own landing page or a big website. It doesn't matter because this platform gives you a lot of customization, a lot of power uh, to launch fast and easy. Uh, so I saw all those one hour long tutorials of how to make that happen and I don't want to waste your time that's why I want to make this video as short as possible uh, to show you to highlight just the main things and uh, in any case nobody knows your business better than you and nobody uh, except you can create your own landing page or web page so uh, first the first step that you need to take uh, is to find the uh, link in description panel of this video to press that link and you'll jump to the start uh, page of uh, this platform and you need to start a free trial first of all platform uh, will ask you to choose your uh, plan standard pro and advanced I suggest you to think uh, wise about that. Mm, anyway, you have 14 day trial to make everything happen and to launch. And it's pretty enough space to, uh, to combine and to build your own landing page. So um, definitely you'll handle the registration. That's why I'm jumping straight to the platform. I created new account just to show you what is the process. So let's go inside. Okay, this is a dashboard of um, lead pages, landing pages and sites builder. Uh, we're talking about the landing pages in this video and uh, uh, you have a lot of interesting things to to add to your uh, to your landing page. But we just going to press create new landing page. And as you can see, there are tons of interesting templates that already pre-built for you and you can sort them by the page type uh, you see the, what what's the type of a page what the industry is uh, the style even and color so mm, pretty pretty much enough uh, space here to choose from um, and I just want to show you the main editing features that's why I'm just gonna start building any any type of of this any type of this landing page for example is going to be personal personal trainer for example just pressing continue and we're jumping to the editor all the editing features are pretty the same it doesn't matter you're building the big website or you're building just a landing page now that's why i want to show you the main things that you need to use to develop your own landing page. Uh, let's discover all the buttons here. Undo, redo, get feedback, it doesn't matter. Preview, very important button because it shows you how your website will be displayed on different types of devices. Layout, sections, widgets, styles and settings. So here in the layout, you have the list of the sections that you have on your uh, on your landing page we have just body and footer straight from here you can add a section or you can use the sections button let's switch here sections button there are already pre-made things that you can build for example blank let's just add some blank you can you can press on it or you can drag and drop it to the spot where you see the drop here okay that's it now we have we have new section and now we go into widgets and the widgets is uh, actually all you need to use those eight it's all you need to use for example here we need the video and we need the button like order for example you see that the shape of uh button is pretty not in the center I want it to be in the center that's why I'm dropping spacer here and you see you can move it around you see all those lines and you can make 
Uh, you can make the video bigger, for example. You can add more text here and make this space a little bit less. So it's pretty drag and drop. And all you need to do is to decide which blocks you need and just combine them. For example, we need the hero hero page, maybe, or some else page uh, section, some else section, testimonials, for example. Yeah, and we have them here. Just drag and drop. That's it. That's pretty it. Okay, how to edit all the things here. You see that now in our page layout, we have the body testimonials blank and footer. For example, we need the blank section to be uh, on on the top right here. So we just drag and move it around to your layout. So now we see that the blank page is a uh, blank section is right after this one. OK, we go into body and we go into section style and we see the image that lays under uh, under all our elements is the background. We can change this image or we can delete this image. To upload an image, you just need to press uh, add image. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to upload it straight from my computer. OK, I like this fit girl. And you see, you see the picture is uh, is like as it was. But now we see that our text is not pretty readable. So we go into layout and we go into image color overlay that will help us to make some magic. We need this. We need this overlay to be like gray, for example, you see. And you change the opacity. And the picture is still there, but we have the overlay and right now the text is readable and it looks great. So you have a lot of things, um, a lot of things, a lot of settings here to play with. Um, and definitely you need to play with those things. For example, column, you see when you press it on uh, some of the sections, you see what's happening inside. So here in the in the blank one, we have two columns, just one and two, and we can add column or a row straight from here. If we don't need some element here, so we can just delete and you see which one, uh, which one section will be deleted. So jump in next, you see the section you can, you can add it the section itself, you need to press the three dots button and you go into added section settings, add section above or below duplicate copy or delete. We're gonna jump to added section settings. We see that the color of background is black and I don't like this black color. Let's make it for example, this gray or or such gray. Okay, that looks cool. And you see all, all those all those things minimum height, you can make the section smaller or bigger as you want. There are a lot of uh, settings out there. And you can play around with that to get the shape that you want. Uh, in the main purpose of any landing page is actually to get uh, the contact information from your potential client to show your business to your potential client um, to grab some attention of your potential client uh, to to give them interest desire and bring them to action and actually uh, it's nothing nothing special with the text you just can press uh, you can double click on text and that's it. You can change the size, you can change the font straight from here, spacing all the bold things, italic and so on, you can change color, all the editing features of the text is pretty understandable. I will not change the text. Um, the main thing that I want to show you that any landing page contains from the text, images, videos, maybe, and interactive elements. Those interactive elements, the buttons and forms, 
Uh, and that's the main thing of any landing page because as I told previously, the main purpose is to gather contact information. Uh, in any interactive element like uh, button or form, let's press this pencil button, all the editing happening here with the pencil button. We go into style, we can change the shape of our button. Can be rounded or circular, can be flat or line or gradient. I like the line option, but here's uh, square and flat is pretty, pretty good. Also, you can change the color. You see color of background and color of the text. For example, this, this gray is invisible here. Okay, let's change it to black. Uh, so you can play around with all those things easily and just in couple clicks. And this is the most powerful, one of the most powerful landing page builders in the world. And I suggest you to try at least. But as I wanted to say, you need to edit the click event and edit the pop up. What's going to happen when somebody will press the button actually so let's go to edit click event you see the list of options you have pop-up form you can create new uh, you can edit the, this pop-up or delete pop-up or open a calendar pop-up jump to page section link to landing page and link to external url uh, in most cases the pop-up forms are used so you just choosing this one you select this option and we going back to edit pop-up and you see this is the pop-up actually and, and all the things how to manage the tax you know but how to manage the form itself we jump into this we jump into this spot and we pressing edit integrations couple interesting things first integrations is how you'll get your notification about uh, your new client about somebody fulfilled the form you can add external services just to show you this is incredible it's a big list of external services like active campaign convert kit mailchimp get response all those are um, email marketing tools and you can connect them to your website and that's fantastic you'll get notifications straight to your uh, email machine and it's gonna be great actually but it's pretty enough if you have a small business or you're just starting it's pretty enough to uh, get notifications straight to your email and we're not gonna switch on the uh, more services so fields for example email is not enough i need to add a first name field for example and if we need maybe phone number and you see all those are uh, pretty here yeah if you don't want some field you can delete it straight from here and that's it first name and email just with those small arrows you can move them around actions what's gonna happen when somebody will fulfill the form and press like send information uh, it's gonna be default lead pages thank you page landing page external url or remain on page uh, it depends actually on um, on type of your business and if you're selling something you can uh, make up sales with that uh, you can make a lot of things uh, but the main things i told you um, i showed you the main things that you will use actually let's jump to styles a little bit you can change font style straight from here page background color or uh or picture you can add and you'll get the parallax effect there and a lot of lot of interesting things favicon uh, and so on and settings here in settings pay attention to that because definitely you need your site to be visible to search engine machines so you need to type in your page title your description using the keywords you need to uh, all you need to use all those keywords also here in the keywords actually social here you need to upload the picture 
of how your uh, landing page will be described in different types of social media if you want to share your link to some Facebook, for example. Analytics, huge question, big spot to take care of because uh, Google Analytics tracking ID will help you to analyze all the statistics of your site and also you can um, you can switch on the Facebook pixel so it's it's pretty it's pretty big and you need to take care about that um, language pretty understandable so I showed you the main editing features uh, of how to build and, and all the things that you will use to build your own landing page and we build it like under 20 minutes of course there's no much content here we um, we didn't spend time for create content we just grabbed some picture and so on but the main point is that you can make your landing page very and very fast and very easy so to try that just go to the description panel of this video find the link and jump to lead pages straight away thank you so much for watching this video till the end i hope you enjoyed and i hope this was useful uh see you in the next one bye bye